Welcome back to Active Chiropractic guys and today I'm going to show you some exercises you can do at home to help with frozen shoulder. We're not sure where frozen shoulder actually comes from, it predominantly appears in women between the ages of 40 to 60 or people that have rotator cuff injuries in the past or people that have diabetes or thyroid issues. Now it's a very debilitating issue, it freezes your shoulder all the way up and almost completely so you can't even move your arm around. Some people spontaneously wake up with it. So these exercises will definitely help you if you warm up your shoulder first, have a hot shower or use a heat pack first before you do these exercises. Pendulum exercises. These exercises are normally shown first in a clinical setting for rotator cuff injuries and shoulder injuries, especially frozen shoulder. These exercises mainly use momentum of the body that transfers itself into the arm whilst you shift your body in different positions. Try not to use muscle strength to move the arm. The first movement is in a vertical plane. All you have to do is just move up and back with your body and let the momentum sway your arm back and forth. The second movement is in the horizontal plane. Do this by swaying your body from side to side and letting the momentum move your arm from side to side. To create more resistance with these exercises, you can use a light weight. For example here I'm using a dumbbell. And if you don't have a dumbbell you can use a tin can of food. The final movement is to do it clockwise and anti-clockwise. You can see this kind of reminds me of an elephant. As you get confident, exaggerate the movements. For example, making those circles larger and larger, clockwise and anti-clockwise. The purpose of these exercises is to use gravity to distract the shoulder joint and increase mobilization and movement in the shoulder joint. Do each movement for about 20 to 30 repetitions, three to four sets. Flexion and extension with the broomstick. You don't necessarily need to kneel down on the floor. As long as you can have the whole length of the broomstick so you can work in front of you. Try to raise your shoulder as far as you can in front of you and hold on to the broomstick. Now with your other hand, slightly push your frozen shoulder hand up, about 2 inches. You should feel a slight discomfort. Now with the frozen shoulder hand, push down on the assisting hand for about 10 to 20 seconds. Don't push too hard, just enough force that you can feel it. Then relax and repeat the process again. With the bottom hand pushing the frozen shoulder hand up about 2 inches and then push down again for 10 to 20 seconds. This is a type of PNF stretch. To increase the extension in the arm, just have the broomstick on your side. And once again, you don't have to be in a lunge position. You can do this in a standing position as well. Bring the frozen shoulder arm back as far as possible. Then with the assisting arm, push it back slightly about two inches. Hold this position and with the frozen shoulder arm, push forward slightly for about 10 to 20 seconds. Hold that position. Then relax and push backwards with the assisting arm to increase the stretch and the extension of the frozen shoulder arm. Then relax and repeat the process again, pushing the arm back into extension and holding that position and pushing forward for 10 to 20 seconds, 3 to 4 times. Broomstick abductions and adductions. Abduction is a movement where you bring your limb away from you, so it's like abducting something away. Adduction is bringing the limb back towards you, so adding something together. For broomstick abductions, this will help you raise your arm out to your side. Grab the broomstick in front of you and raise your arm to your side as high as you can. Now with your assisting hand, just push the broomstick so your frozen shoulder goes into more shoulder abduction for another 2 inches. You should feel a slight discomfort. Hold this position and with your frozen shoulder arm, push down on the assisting arm with the broomstick for about 10 to 20 seconds, then relax. And repeat the process by pushing your arm into more abduction with the assisting hand for another 2 inches and then repeat the process once again. If you feel excruciating pain in this exercise, I don't recommend you to keep continuing and stop this exercise straight away and see a practitioner. Shoulder adduction with a broomstick. So this is bringing your arm towards your body. With both arms, hold the broomstick behind you and with the frozen shoulder arm, bring it as far as you can to the other side of the body. Now with the assisting hand, just pull the frozen shoulder arm into more adduction for about 2 inches and hold this position once you feel a slight discomfort. With the frozen shoulder arm, just pull away from adduction, away from the body, whilst having the assisting arm resisting you. Do this for about 10 to 20 seconds and then relax. And with the assisting arm, pull the frozen shoulder arm back into more adduction again for about 2 inches and repeat the process. External rotation with the broomstick. Lay on the floor whilst holding the broomstick in front of you and both elbows close by your side so you can focus on your rotator cuff muscles. Now with both hands holding the broomstick, push the frozen shoulder into external rotation. You should feel a slight discomfort. Now with the frozen shoulder arm holding the broomstick, push your arm in towards your body again whilst having the assisting arm resisting you. Hold this for about 10 to 20 seconds. Then relax and having your assisting arm push your frozen shoulder arm more into external rotation for about another 2 inches. 
just into slight discomfort and repeat the process. Wall walks. Once again, this exercise is normally shown first in a clinical setting. This will help you raise your arm above your head. Having your frozen shoulder closest to the wall and standing one to two feet away from the wall. Now with your fingertips, try to walk up the wall as far as you can. Hold to the point of discomfort and hold that position for about 20 seconds to 30 seconds. Once you're ready and confident, just walk up the wall a little bit higher into the point of discomfort and repeat the process and hold that position for about 20 to 30 seconds. Do this three to four times. Your aim is to bring your body close to the wall as possible with your arm above your head. Guys, I hope those exercises helped you. Now, if you have shoulder issues, be sure to check out my subscapularis massage video or my best rotator cuff stretch video as well. Remember to support my channel, hit subscribe, hit like, comment below if you have any questions. I'll see you guys in the next one.